contrarian, leave it to contrarian badass Reggie Middleton. He called the housing crash, he called the collapse of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers, and the crisis in the Eurozone banking system. Greetings, this is Reggie Middleton, and I wanted to put a side in to the article that I did for beginners in Bitcoin. We're discussing wallets. I was discussing uh, autonomous versus heteronomous wallets. Wallets like this. You see, the heteronomous wallets, hosted wallets, wallets that are sitting on someone else's server, um, defeats the purpose of Bitcoin. And for those who didn't read the article, go to boomboostblog.com and read the article. A wallet, not necessarily this little case, but it's a software package that holds digital assets and allows you to control digital assets. Okay? So, a hosted wallet means you have the wallet and you have assets in it. Like this. Hopefully not a Federal Reserve note, but we're using Bitcoin. Same thing. So, you take your assets, whether it's this $100 Federal Reserve note, or whether it's a digital asset like Bitcoin, you put it in the wallet, whether it's analog wallet or the digital wallet, and then we have two choices. We could be autonomous, so I take this wallet and I put it in my back pocket, put it in my cell phone, in my computer, in my Dropbox account, I have it. If it goes on Dropbox, you have to encrypt it, of course. If it leaves your possession, you have to encrypt it. Or, I could take my wallet and I could give it to a total stranger. For instance, excuse me, I'd like to give you my wallet. I have a hundred dollar bill, I'd like to give you my wallet. No? Could you just hold the wallet for a second? Would you mind? I just want to make a point in the video. I'll take it right back. The hundred dollars. Thank you. I gave my wallet away. I now have no possession of it. She does. I don't have control of it. She does. Now, who's in a better position? The guy that had the wallet in his pocket? Are there a guy that has to trust the total stranger who may be very nice, but I have to trust him. Thank you very much, man. This is the situation that you're in when you give your digital assets to somebody else. You send it to an exchange, you send it off to someone else's server, no matter how much security they have, no matter how um, benevolent you feel the management and the employees are, it is not no longer your property. You no longer have control of it. That brings up the uh, issue of censorship. See, the public Bitcoin, the Bitcoin public blockchain is censorship proof. In other words, a third party cannot control the assets that go in and out of it. So you still maintain autonomy. If you take the Bitcoins off of the public blockchain or you send it through the public blockchain but relinquish control and possession of it, then you defeat the purpose of having Bitcoin. Now, that's all well and good if you could trust who has the server. Well, that's why it's not, Let's suppose you can. It's not like Let's suppose you can not trust them. And then you have an environment of censorship. You have a problem. Now, I'm going to bring up a very, very likely scenario, but I need for everybody to pay attention. Let's forget politics. Let's forget Democrats, Republicans, GOP, liberal, conservative, left, right. Let's forget all that. Let's just think about what the President of the United States tweeted, in the first tweeting president that tweets his policy, tweeted yesterday, Friday, November, February, I think, what, 17th or 18th. He said that the fake news, and listed several prominent major press organizations, are the enemy of the American people. Now, whether you agree with that or not, whether you back Trump or not, whether you like Trump or not, whether you're left, right, Republican, Democrat, those words should make it very, very evident to all that the possibility of censorship is not. In other words, if the President of the United States is willing to say that the press, which has uh, constitutional freedoms, okay, uh, constitutional rights for free speech, is the enemy of the American people. You can assume he's right, you can assume he's not, but the fact that he's willing to say that means that there is a significant possibility that he will employ censorship. Censorship can take the form of don't say that, don't publish this, you can't publish that, you can't write that, or censorship can come in the form as confiscating assets. 
asset forfeiture, which we've had, we've had this discussion before in Texas. Asset forfeiture is not possible through the public Bitcoin public blockchain. That is the advantage of a digital wallet that you keep in your control and your possession. That is a disadvantage of a digital wallet when you give it to a stranger, no matter how benevolent they may be. That young lady right there would be the nicest person, the nicest pie. But when the authorities come and confiscate her, her assets and belongings, her server, her wallet, her wheelchair, my assets go along with it. That is why I recommend everybody use autonomous wallets, such as Veritasium, plus all our smart contract abilities. And that is why I suggest nobody use heteronymous hosted servers, hosted wallets, etc. You allow yourself to fall victim to censorship. Okay? Long-winded way of saying, keep your money in your pocket. Peace.